Hello, everyone, and welcome to another edition of PCN Marquee Matchup. Tonight's game fe- features Inter Milan versus PSG. I'm your host, Saul Goodman Jr., and I'm joined by the one, the only, Dorsey Furcal. Dorsey, how are you tonight? Pretty good, pretty good. Pretty glad to be called back up once again. Clearly, I didn't uh, kill all of your ears last week. Yeah, it seems like the fans wanted you back. At least didn't hate you enough to, to ban you forever. <laughs> Uh, so tonight's game featuring Inter Milan and PSG. Inter Milan's been doing pretty well, so our PSG, on the other hand, has been struggling a little bit. What are you expecting from tonight's game? So I think it's it's going to be a tight affair. What's interesting is actually they just played a Royal Cup match, which Inter Milan won 1-0. Um, so these two teams, obviously, they just played. You know, they're fresh. It's fresh in their minds how each other played. And I, a lot of times when that happens, they play back-to-back like that. This it, it, Both games end up being really tight and low-scoring, so... It wouldn't shock me if we saw another kind of close, low-scoring game, but you never know. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised at all. Uh, while we go through the lineups, let's get some predictions in the chat, and we'll go through uh, those after we finish up. Uh, so the PSG graphics, not entirely accurate. They had a lot of changes going into this game. Uh, but in net, they'll have Mafia's Assassin, and they're playing a, a 4-1-2-1-2 narrow. Uh, left back, they have Wizard. Center back, they have Nasty. Uh, the other center back, they have Rico. In right back, they have Fizzy. Uh, at CDM, they have Fuji. LCM, they have Valius Rex. And he's joined the RCM by M12 Valet. Uh, and the cam is Iza Willy. And then their striker duo up top is Lupex and Lobo. On the other hand, Inter Milan is running the 352. And they have Phil the Fish, the legendary keeper in net. Hernandez, Yo Mama Bits, and Little Perp are this back line. The two CDMs are Matt B. Creeping, because 5-6 Poppy got a red card in the league match earlier, so that's unlucky. He's joined by Jammy at RDM. Left mid is Vonsetti. Right mid is Louis 9. Cam is Kid Nashti. Left striker and right striker are Kufavelli and Stride, the famous duo from last season that did so well. Uh, some of the key players on PSG are Lupex is having a great season, six goals in four games, 100% shots on target. Uh, that's can't do much better than that. And then also Lobo is having a good season coming off of his transfer from Young Boys to PSG, and he's doing very well with four assists and three key passes to date. And then obviously on Inter Milan, I've already mentioned Stride is in Kufa Valley. That pair up top is going to be the dynamic duo to watch. And then also they have Phil the Fish in net. Um, prediction from you? I'm thinking, we'll see, last week I went with the offset, so I'm going to stay true and set again and uh, go one nothing PSG. We, we saw a close game in this original uh, Inter Milan PSG Cup game. Uh, so I think we'll see something similar, and I think PSG is going to squeak one home somehow. I think I think I'm gonna play it play it safe. I'm gonna go one one draw. I think both teams have solid defenses. They've got some talent, but I think they'll, they'll find a way to neutralize each other. Um, but let's see how it happens. Looks like they've hooked, and let's hope they have a good connection. We'll be getting right down to game action. Uh, PSG in their whites, Inter Milan in their dark kits, and PSG will start with the ball and just play around with it back. But Kid Nashti is able to take that away, get some possession for Inter early on. As you said, Matt B. Creepin's taking over that center back spot down low. Kufavelli tries to find stride, but Rico's there to intercept. PSG starting off with a nice little play of defense. Mm-hmm. One quick note, it is Lupe, not Lupex, before the people shred you for 90 minutes. Oh, you know, I'm, I'm used to it at this point. I have <laughs> tough skin in this job. <laughs> PSG pressed a little bit there. Inter Milan's able to handle it eventually, but then... Valius Rex gets back, gets Lobo a shot. Mappy Creepin's able to block that. Lupe gets the throw, oh, gets an upper 90! Oh, wow. And that, that, ladies and gentlemen, is why Lupe still around and still one of the best strikers in this league when he plays regularly. 1 0. Well done. 100% stays alive. Upper 90, top left corner. No keeper saving that one from that close. See if Inter Milan's able to counter with something of their own here. Working the ball around here. Mappy Creepin plays it back to Little Perp. Plays it Vincetti. Kuvaveli finding Kid Nashti, but then that's going to be intercepted by Fizzy. 
PSG is going to play it back and then try to play the long ball, but Matt Creeden is going to handle that easily. Yeah, good start from PSG. See if they can keep going here. Already with that nice little play up top. Let's see if they can get another one here. It's a Willie trying to press. Got a man open down line. Doesn't able to play it and gets bossed out of bounds. Inter Milan, Inter Milan's ball. Yeah, it's an interesting contract as contrast of styles with the 3-5-2 and then the much narrower middle driven 4-1-2-1-2. Looks like the PSG is trying to work it up here again. Got Lobo with the ball the top. Tries to take a shot. Never really had an angle there. Under Milani handles it easily. Stride now plays it down. Trying to slow it down. Get some possession here. See if they can't really work anything. Valley Rex there for a nice interception, but it's going to call back for a foul. Yeah, so PSG has been playing a pretty high line, trying to limit the chances in behind from Inter early on. I think that game before this gave them a little taste of what they're going to get and maybe they figured something out in the intermission let's see if inter milan's able to set something up off of this free kick just outside the box going to play it short here try and flick it in but m12 is able to block it stride gets a shot there but never really challenges mafia he's able to catch that easily yeah, enters one of the best teams in the league at set bases so they'll try to get themselves a couple more chances if they can yeah, I've seen firsthand that they have a wide variety of what they can do. That one just didn't quite work out. Let's see if PSG is able to work it down. Fuji now with the ball. Planted around this back line. Nasty with a poor pass, though. Shry intercepts it. Kukavelli might have a little fast break, but Fuji quickly handles that. It's a great play by the DM there. I respect it. One DM to another. Got to have some respect there. PSG... PSG now with the ball, but turns it over sloppily to Louis 9. And it goes right back to Lupe. It's going back and forth a little bit here. Let's see if we get, able to get something together. Coop's got this line here, trying to get the ball into him. Tries to make a move, never really paid off, and looks like FIFA kind of got him there because that surely looked like it was out on PSG. A little lucky there on that throw. Got away with the throw to the center back. You never want to throw it backwards. Only bad things usually happen afterwards. This is a formation that we don't see too often, the 4-1-2-1-2 arrow. Um, we've talked about this on the podcast a little bit, that it's kind of the, if you're going to do this formation, better this than the wide one, but it's not the best one to run. Interesting to see. It was a lot more popular, I think, in, in past cycles of FIFA. There was a time where I think this was maybe the most popular formation in, uh, in the league, but times they are changing. Mm -hmm. Inter Milan now with the ball, trying to push it up. Kufavelli plays it to stride. Got some space here. Looks like they might be trying to work it out to that right side. We've got overlapping ball here. He got two options in the middle. Stride running. Stride tries to play it into his partner. Doesn't quite get there. Gets the ball back though. Might have an option here. Plays it to Louie. Looking back post. Handled by Fizzy. Cleared it out to Lupe. And now it looks like PSG might be countering. Can he get that ball? Never saw it. Unlucky. Uh, I think, uh, yeah, Inter had a real good chance that they could have gotten a ball off quicker from the wing, but it just wasn't quite there for Strad. Yeah, they had two people running there. Looked like Kid Nashti and Koof in the middle. Koof, nice little turn shot, but Mafia is able to handle that way. See if Inter can come up with something on this corner. I think PSG is okay with them taking shots from that area. I think they just don't want, you know, Kufa and Stry to get the ball in the box near the six-yard box, especially. Yeah, playing it back post a little perk, plays it in. Rico is able to handle that and clear it well. Hernandez plays it back into Kid Nashi. He got Stry with some space here. Watch out, folks. He can work some magic. Doesn't quite come off. PSG surrounds him and is able to play it out. That was a hell of a play by Rico. There was no one else there if that if he wasn't there to clear that out. Inner, that that duo up front can really punish some defenders if they just make one mistake. Looks like he was looking for Rico to overplay that, but he played it safely and was able to handle that. It's a great switch. Wide open. Why not? Just not much doing here. The 3-5-2 is kind of suffocating this 4-1-2-1-2. But PSG mainly have stayed mistake-free, a couple close calls, but they've done a good job of keeping the ball, I think, better than maybe expected. Yeah, they had a, a counter opportunity that they missed there, but I think if they're going to beat this 3-5-2, that's how they're going to have to do it, because once you get that midfield back, it's really hard 
to work that middle the way you need to with this 4 one 2, one, two narrow. Yeah, it's a good take by Wizard. Maybe he could have waited for an option, but that was still a good play by him. It's a Willie with the ball, but Jamie comes over and cleans that up. They're going to have to throw in the PSG. See if they're able to work anything. Got Issa Willie with the ball here. Got two options in the middle. Not able to work it. Jamie stays home and tackles it out of bounds. Another throw in. I think PSG are fine just keeping it in this end. Maybe get a chance out of it. First half is coming to a close. Let's see if we get another opportunity here. Lobo with up top comes to space. Ooh. Oh. Narrowly over the bar, but still a good effort. Not quite sure how he's able to get that off, but that was a great chance again for PSG. It's a beautiful turn there. PS, er, Inner caught napping a little bit on the defensive end, but Lobo's not quite able to take advantage of it. Only two minutes of extra time. Probably going to run to the half after this ball makes it to midfield, and there it goes. <coughs> also, also, I got to say, um, you know, both teams had their moments, some good counter opportunities, some great last ditch defending, a little bit of everything. And Lupe just scores bangers. The guy scores some incredible goals, and that's the difference right now. 1 0 PSG. Yeah, it's a pretty good first half. And then that's my prediction, so no one needs to score any more goals. We can just keep it the way it is, and I can be right for my first time ever <laughs> in like 30 predictions. Yeah. <laughs> so I, I think that 54% to 46% PSG possession, I think Inter is a team that's used to having more of the ball. And, you know, PSG is just, you know, the longer they keep it, the more they're denying intra chances. And so, um, you know, they got 45 minutes to go, but really good first half for PSG. See how they can go from here. Yeah, already a better game than they played last uh, in that Royal Cup. Let's see if they can keep it up here, get some possession, and push it on uh, Inter to try and maybe get another goal here and spread their lead out a little bit more. Inter now with the ball, though, got to work it around, try and get their strikers up on the wings. Looks like that seems to be Koof's main spot of attacking. Finds Kid Nashti to Vansetti. Got some space out here. Got someone in the middle for Kid Nashti, but plays a hard touch, and it's able to be handled by PSG. Your mama gets the interception. Jamie tries to play it up. Nasty handles that. Lobo just flicks it on, and that's going to be returned the favor from Inter. Plays a deep ball here. Looks like Keeper needs to come out, and he does. Could be a card here. It's like Stride may have gone in reckless. Not a bad idea. I think, so I'm starting to see some spaces opening up in the middle for Inter when they get it wide. It's just they're not able to get it quick enough inside right now to, to spring that shot and that chance. Mm -hmm. uh, correction, that was Kid Nashti who got the card. A little aggressive on that. Uh, but almost was able to get there. Mafias was able to come out and clean it up. Fortunately for Inter. They're not quite working those sides as well as you would expect from the inner side. Usually they see that dynamic attack go outside and quickly come back in to the other striker, whether it be Stride or Kuv. Not quite paying off here. That back post has never opened. No, they had four people on maybe one or two on the right, and for some reason someone decided to switch that. Looks like Louis 9, not the D. Louis bro that everyone knows, but the other one. <laughs> It's interesting to actually see him playing on the right. He's normally a left winger, but he's got he's over there with strides, someone he's got a lot of chemistry with. Looks like they're working this right side, trying to get something, but Wizards having none of it. Get the ball back. Jamie tries to come in for a tackle, just kicks it out of bounds. Louis Nine's able to win it back after that throw in, see if they can work here. Tries to play the phase there for the interception. Just kind of passed it right passed right to him. Mm -hmm. Passed it. Mm, that's good. Ooh, here we go. Koof with an opportunity, finding his partner in the middle. Looks like he's trying to work it around, make someone miss and get an option. Fizzy's having none of it. Good defense. Really good play from Fizzy to clean up his center's mistake. Not seeing too much here from PSG on the attacking end. They're absorbing this a little too much, and you're going to be under some pressure if you give in or this much time and this much space oh but stride gifts them a ball back yeah but that's what they need to do they need to get it to the end line more i think because right now they're just struggling they're not getting any crosses off they're not finding a way inside and that's gonna have to find a way to do it yeah with this right back and left back that you don't see too much usually you see that three five two it is a different look to attack and it's a little bit harder to go from outside in yeah both <laughs> backs for psg have been really i think some of the ooh. Some of the players of the game for me, they've really just shut down anything getting in behind them. 
You can see the idea there. Stride tried to find Koof, just hit a little too much power on. Mafia is able to clean that up. Had he gotten that to Koof, that would have been a very good opportunity. Koof was most likely going to win that ball and at least have a shot on goal. Now we're seeing that ball work back in, but Fuji's able to clean it up. Well, Ken Nashi now plays it back to Little Perp. And Sunny out in the wing there. Nothing doing. PSG gets the ball back. Yeah, Inter definitely a different team when they're ahead than when they're behind. Uh, they just can't quite play the way they want to when they're chasing a the game. Be interesting to see if they get caught out here and go down 2 0. Looks like that right wing is now open as I speak. Plays it back in the middle, but Mappy creeping. Well done. And good defense. Had that gone through, surely we're looking at 2 0 PSG. Well done by Mappy creeping, but it, PSG now has the ball back. Handled by Kid Nashi, though. Kufavelli got some numbers here on this right side. Let's see if they try and work it up. Maybe a little too quickly. I think that was a good call, though, to work that back. They didn't have the numbers for that direct counter right there. Let's see if they're able to get something in the middle, something going. No one's really open. Trying to find Coop, but Rico's there to handle it nicely. It's great tight marking from Rico. Had to drag out a little bit closer to the other side, but he's right there, made the interception, cleared it out. Haven't seen too much of opportunities either way, really, in this half. Um, that's by design for PSG. They don't want to get too caught up field. Yeah, trying to hold back and contain this powerful attack, but we might have an option here. Stride with the ball! Oh! Ooh. Just wide. <sighs> you know, and they may just need to do that, try to find someone top of the box, take a rip or two. It might take a spectacular goal for them to equalize this game. Looks like they have, a, they have another opportunity here. Multiple men in the middle. Louis trying to play with it a little bit, just to get face. Find stride! Shine this space near post. Oh, well There's done. The There's the connection over there, Louis and Stride. They know how to find each other. Just a quick little stutter. The defender overcommits, and Stride does the rest near post. Goalie, tough to guard that when you're expecting everything else coming. Two fantastic strikers. Two fantastic strikes. One one. Let's see if anyone's got anything left. The last ten minutes. Yeah, I'm not sure PSG is going to come up with anything. They kind of went into their shell this second half, just kind of hoping to hold out that one nothing lead, but you never know. Their first goal was a, a bit of a surprise as it was. Is a Willie trying to make some people miss. Van said he had nothing of that a clear out wide. Looks to stride, slows it down for his partner there, who just helped him get a nice goal there. See if they can tap into that connection again. They've got some numbers on this right side. Three people, four in the middle, one back post. Koof with some space here, tries to play it back to Stride. Stride wins it back. Nasty, though, is able to intercept that and clear it out. Yeah, PSG under a lot of pressure now these last few minutes. They need to do something here to relieve that pressure. Just get some possession. Oh, when they get the ball back, it seems like they're clearing it right away. And it's, oh, Koof Valley with a nice steal here. Might have some options. Stride. Nasty's able to handle that, but just clears it out, and Louis's able to win it back. And the defense for the midfield for PSG needs to just drop. It may play a little bit better pressure. Louis tries to play it back post. Mafia says to catch it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> About to say, they got to call that one a foul. Otherwise, <laughs> they got to call something, right? Yeah. yeah. It, was, it was at the back of the goal after that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Good lord. One way to score. Two Rico oh. bailed time. Goalie out. Lupe plays it for the values. He's got a lot of space here. Four coming with him. Five back post. If he's able to get anything in the middle, plays it to Willie. He's able to create a little bit back to values, but Jamie cleans it up. And that's going to do it. But one of us was right. <laughs> no, it wasn't me. There, have, <laughs> there has not been a lot of draws in the marquee matchup scene. Um, no, I mean, PSG got their goal in the first half. They went into their shell, and they just tried to hold on, and then Stride gets one look after Louis sets them up very nicely, and that, that, that's the 1-1. One -one. Yeah. Um, so Inter will stay sixth on the table. Uh, PSG hanging out somewhere mid-table. We're not sure about their other result yet. Um, so maybe a missed opportunity in Inter. You know, the start of the game, but I think they did well to earn that point. 
um, considering they were down for 80 minutes. Yeah, I mean, I think based on the uh, the first game, they might be a little bit disappointed because they did walk away with a one nothing there, and they weren't able to get it going to very late. Uh, but they did end up getting enough just to get the draw and not drop all of the points. Yeah, and PSG, I think you offer them a point at the start of the game, they probably take it. But I think 75th minute, you say you're up one nothing. Um, I think you, I think you'd be disappointed not to hold out. Yeah, it's a tough way to to drop that lead, and then you had the defenders there to stop that goal, but it just got a little bit too exciting. I mean, and you can't really blame the stride with. The ball in the box, you know you got to stop it. You just overcommitted, and Stride did the rest. Yeah, yeah. I think I think balance of play. I think Inter were, were better, especially that second half. Um, but I think PSG did enough in the first half. They took the really their their best chance and um, good one one draw. I gotta say that was the two in a row. I think I've been thoroughly entertained by as a neutral. Yeah, I haven't been disappointed by any of the games. You saw the class from PSG. They haven't quite gotten the result there. Uh, not enough attacking power, as you said. You know, they just kind of fell into their shell, but maybe just did enough to squeak away with that one nothing win. Doesn't seem like they're going to overwhelm anyone, though. Be my assessment. No, and and the drawback for playing a, in playing a formation like that is that unless your center mids are able to really kind of. You, you got to take some of the risk as a center mid in that formation and, and make some extra runs wide or in behind to get some spread out, get some, get some people spread out and try to get a goal. And I think in a game like this, they just couldn't afford to have their midfield running up and down the field or, you know, they may have been 2-3-1 for Inter Milan. Yeah, I think Inter, you know, tried to push it a little bit at the end there, but a little bit too much or too little too late. I think we will see Inter climb up. I think you said they were six right now. Is that right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think we'll see them climb up. That They rebuilt that midfield with uh, left mid, right mid, and Cam all finding new homes. Uh, still have that striker duo and still have Jammy. Uh, but they, they need to gel a little bit. I think we'll see them really build on this result and the results they've already had. Yeah, I mean, we're, we're not even a six of the way through the season yet. Um... And you know, I know there's there's overreactions in a lot of teams right now, but uh, oh, yeah. to the teams playing tonight and everyone else, just like it's it's a long season. Settle in, buckle up. Oh yeah, be- we already had uh, what I think three teams win the league already uh, <laughs> for each league. So yes. you know, depending on the game day, and a new winner is announced. Uh, it looks like we'll try to get an interview. Wasn't able to get anyone. Surprising. Koof what didn't jump on that. He's usually very eager to get in here and have his word in. Uh, but nonetheless, I guess that'll that'll do it for us. Any last words? Uh, just happy to be back again. Really good game. Um, you know, this is this is kind of the showcase that you guys, you know, when we offered the the spot, this is what we like to see is is good quality play. And um, hopefully, we entertained you tonight. Absolutely. Uh, Dorsey and I will be recording the podcast tomorrow night. Should be looking forward to that on hopefully Friday, depending on Johnny the Dream's schedule. Uh, So look out for that. With that being said, everyone, take care, and uh, we'll see you next time on Sunday. Unlucky Arsenal.